It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Real Madrid up against Granada. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Toni Kroos plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. A potentially absorbing contest as Real Madrid get things going. Look at Modric. Well, tremendous block. Asensio. Well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. Really a very poor ball. Mendy. Attacking possibilities for Real. Karim Benzema. Just the challenge that was required. Kini. Huertas. Will he finish? Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Who can he pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive. And I think the threat has been averted. Marco Asensio. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. Madrid couldn't keep it Marco Asensio the ball with Luka Modric and a good looking ball Lucas Vasquez here is Marco Asensio could play it in Benzema Here's Vinicius Jr. Oh, blocked it! Beautifully disguised ball. Oh, he just let his opponent glide by. Keeper getting the touch. 
Well, a time for composure on the ball. Modric. Tony Kroos. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Can he put them in front? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Matisse. Well, they know they need to stop him. Neva. Options in the centre. He could profit, you know. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Mendy. This is Kroos. Marco Asensio. Now with Benzema. Casemiro. Asensio. Lucas Vasquez. Benzema waiting. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Over it comes, and clearing it away. This attack looks highly promising. Course. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. Underway again with Real Madrid in front. Luis Milla intercepting it intelligently. Showing a real will to win the ball. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Takes the shot. Well, flinging himself at it. Delivering it. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Vinicius Junior. Mendy, teammate and support. Will it be? What a vital intervention. Well, inching towards half time, Real Madrid hold the advantage. Stuart, what strikes you about their performance so far? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Lucas Vasquez. The ball with Luka Modric. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Keeney. Puertas. And slipped through beautifully. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital.
Well, Tony Kors, a player who really can dominate a game, and suffice it to say, that's exactly what he's doing, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations, and he had a real impact on the plate. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Marco Asensio. On to Benzema. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Vinicius. Here's Casemiro. Determined defending. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Cutting the ball back. Gone along. Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, he let them go on, but now he's going to deal with the yellow card situation. Yeah, and he was always going to be booked for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. Substitution for Real Madrid. Played over. It comes to absolutely nothing. And another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Over it comes. It's not a particularly good corner there. Modric unable to hang on to the ball. Puertas. Good technique displayed. Chance to cross. Luis Milla still trailing but they're upping the pressure element of risk there but he's won the ball Aidan Azar on to Benzema Vinicius Junior now they've given him too much space well nothing comes of it it looked promising 30 minutes left for play. Machis. It's a neat move. No possibilities in the centre. Thumped clear. It looks promising. Well, strong play here. Oh, he's given it away. This might be ideal for the counter. Azar. Lucas Vasquez. Azar. Well, Real pushing to add to the lead. It's a corner. committed to making the substitution here and over it comes not the result from the set piece they were looking for the referee has given the advantage to Real Madrid Casemiro Vinicius Jr. Here's Kroos. Able to get a body in the way. And scope for them to produce something exciting. 
Neva. Options in the middle. Huertas. Makes his way in field. An attack full of promise. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Well, the referee remaining very much in control. Now the card, and it's yellow. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Tony Kroos. Now Casemiro. Lucas Vasquez. On and on he goes. Lucas Vasquez has someone to play it to. Lucas Vasquez. Here's Modric. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Luis Milla. Patient build-up at the moment. It might be on for them. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Modric. Lucas Vasquez. And that's an important intervention. Ten minutes to go. In behind for him to chase. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. Well, this game is almost over. Not quite yet. Real Madrid still with a bit of work to do. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen from them? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Body in the way. Lucas Vasquez. And taken away. He won the ball. Neva. And forward they go, chasing the game. But ultimately, up a cul de sac. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Crossing opportunity. A good and fair challenge. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, we all know what Tony Kors can do. We watch in awe as he goes about his business, but trying to stop him can be so difficult, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.